Ben really involved from BAPS. And yeah, well, well, you just happened to see me walking this hallway, and uh, what are you holding in your hand? I'm holding my laptop. Okay, and, and, uh, is it a special kind of laptop? Uh, it's a Panasonic Toughbook on the Verizon GPRS, G whatever network, high okay. speed network. And uh, we just launched on October 1st. Jesus, man, come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, the first wideband conference calling service. So why does someone need a wideband conference calling service? Uh, well, it sounds better. And, we understand. And, you know, I mean, the, the way I explain it is, you know, if you remember dial-up, right, you can only get 56K across the wire. You remember dial-up? I don't know. Six. You don't remember dial-up, but I, I think wideband uh, conferencing is great. Yeah, so we should talk. Yeah, so same thing happens with your voice, right? If you go over the phone, you only get a couple megahertz of frequency. If you go over the uh, computer, you get a much higher frequency. And so our... And you do, why are you doing this in uh, Skype and not this thing called Facebook? Uh, well, sim similar to Facebook, uh, Skype customers don't like to spend money either. But... <gasps> oh. oh. But like any business, if you're creating value, you should be able to extract that value from the market. And so, so and you're doing this for free? Uh, no, it's uh, it's free for 30 days. Oh, I see. It's always a hard. And then, uh, and then there's a couple different fixed cost plans. So unlike traditional telephony, where you get billed per minute, we have a monthly subscription, so you can talk as much as you want. Yeah. Unlimited number of conference rooms? Uh, uh, no, one conference room, but unlimited um, usage if you go over the computer. Just one room? One room, 40 bucks a month, talk as much as what you want. What if I'm a 5,000 person company? You buy 500 rooms. You see, that's the internet, would, would they be only one at high? How high? Uh, you see, internet logic, I would want 5,000 rooms for the same price. Well, you know, we we're continuing to iterate on the service offerings. Um, Hi. Is this on that side? That side, that side. But, but like long distance, which went from a per minute to What's a... Long distance? A little bit about long distance. Which went from a per minute to a monthly subscription. Yeah. We, we're, we've done the same thing with conference calling. Very cool. And uh, and there, there are... Same thing with international calling. Yeah, 20 hours a month. Right. And, get, yeah. and there are very few wide band endpoints, but the most ubiquitous <laughs> is Skype. And so that's our distribution partner at the moment for the service. Very cool. Congratulations. So, yeah, thanks. It's, uh, Something cool. useful you could actually hear and see at fun. There you go. Uh, at least in the hallway. Yeah, there's a lot of wide band stuff coming out. I think it's pretty cool stuff. It reduces stress and people can actually be more productive. So, hey, we're. Uh, yeah, <laughs> are you work for Bulwer Media. No, <laughs> no you were. Um, do you guys know each other? I don't think so. And Mike Jablon, nice to meet you. Mike's from this big, uh, ominous cable company from Connecticut. Yeah, I've heard of him. <laughs> uh, no. I haven't. <laughs> so, could you, just curious, could you do, you know, we've been playing in this personal broadcasting space, yep. uh, Log TV, can you do something like that? I mean, um, what do you mean specifically? What do you mean? No, like, I'm just like saying. Using you, it as a way to yeah to communicate. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, I mean, people use it for telemarketing. You know, multi. Oh, there, there, there are people who are doing uh, com VoIP conference rooms. They call it talk show, for example. Oh, talk show. Yeah. Right. So, this, can you be a better sounding talk show? Oh, we could be a much better. I mean, the, the issue with talk show is I don't really get the this like consumer conference calling has been sort of the holy grail of the conferencing industry for years. And I know that the regular conference industry is $4 billion a year in revenue. So we're more focused on where can we innovate and right. make yes, money versus... He was wondering if he, you know, see, he's actually a rational person. He doesn't deal with this is crazy internet people. Could you say that again? No. <laughs> I mean, I mean you know, we, 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 we have a board to report to and you know, profitability numbers and uh -oh. things Damn. like that. Well, yeah, but what about reality? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what he lives in. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! It's it, it, it it one of the few one of the few people who actually give me reality based products. Oh no! It's a new start market segment. <laughs> I think so. Well, He's talking actually, to us. I, actually, we, so, sometimes we feel that way. No, it's you true. Know? I mean, it's. I mean, wow! Actually, someone who's building products that are that work <laughs> for a reason right. on somebody else's backbone. Well, no. But well, I mean, I mean, I mean. So, so but, but so I understand. So you basically, so you're more or less trying to revolutionize the business conference calling uh, marketplace by 
Yeah, by using Skype, I'm sure there'll be other platforms you'll also support. That, that's right. I Whatever mean, is logical for the type of stuff you're doing. Small, right. I mean, the biggest challenge with Skype users is they're used to getting everything for free. They're right. not your target. The only thing about them that your target set is the fact that they, they have to be, and the enterprise side of um. Actually, we should turn, turn, turn this off.